Yes, I do. Hello, dear. So you, you try to make sense of whatever I tell you, and if it doesn't make sense, it's okay. Because you missed nine nine topics. The journey was at eleven point ten. If it is eleven point ten, it means chapter eleven, article ten, or section ten. So we are almost reaching uh, the end of the book, and we are yet to decode the sign. Eleven point ten means chapter eleven, section ten. Consequences of high specific heat capacity of water. So I'll make you take turns and read. Okay. So there are some six different phenomena that you are going to read, and there are six of them. Let's begin with you. So the now everybody with me and uh, him, right? We know that what is the specific heat of water? Of course. Where is the water? Or else just the fan. No, just switch off the fan. That should do the job. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> what is the specific heat of water? Forty-two. Forty-two hundred joules per kg per Kelvin. Okay, that's the specific heat of water. That is also so. That will be 4.2 joules per gram per Kelvin. Okay, so depends. When I say kg, it will be 4200. When I say gram, it will be 4.2. For a gram of water, for a kg of water, it will be. So what is SI unit? It's kg, not gram. So SI unit of specific heat of water would be joule per kg per Kelvin. And therefore, what is the value we have to consider? 4200 or 4186, right? But generally, we take 4200, the rounded. Right? Now, with this knowledge, start with the first consequence. The climate change of C2 is more than what? Just read the title. Let's tell it. So, why is it moderate? Now, see. This is the seashore, and like on land, right? And this is the sea one. Okay. You know, beautiful earth, sky, right? And you are resting here. That's you. Okay. So this is sea water. Lucky guy. Yeah. He has a such a bright property. So sun is gracing us. Okay. Everywhere. <coughs> Land, sea, everywhere. Okay. Now specific heat of land is. Much less. Much less as compared to water. As to me, because water is highest. This is sea water, so it is next to water, right? So. Whole day, if the sea water is heated, then it becomes by evening it becomes little bit heated. Whereas the land land gets heated very fast, so land will become it will become hot and it will remain moderate throughout the day. So then what happens? Or see what happens, right? Since the land becomes hot, okay, the air in contact with land will also be hot. So it will become less dense. 
So less dense, that means the air which is in contact with the land will begin to go up, the air will rise. So hot air rises. Okay, now the air above sea is cool. So when the hot air rises, the cool air rushes in from the sea to land, right? Cool sea breeze. Is it called breeze or? Hmm? One more. So sea breeze will gush in. So this kind of a convection current will flow. So in the daytime, what will happen? The hot air rises and sea breeze will travel towards the land. We will just not leave this place. Enjoy the breeze. Okay. Now what happens at the... So are you facing the hot summer? No, it's moderate, right? Too much cool breeze coming to you. That's why the weather is moderate. That's, that's the title. What's the title? The climate here, the seashore is moderate. Moderate. So, but if it was a land, right? If it was a deep land, okay? Then there is no sea or water body nearby. So then you will roast in the heat or the summer. Understood? That's why temperature water. And what happens in the night? Night it will, it is reversed. Now the land becomes cool in the night. Okay? So at night, so hot at day. At day or in day, whatever is the grammar. At night, the land becomes cooler, and the whole day water got heated. Now the whole night you have a warm water; it will slowly cool down. So here the air is less dense because now this is a hot water, warm water, and this is cooled, right? So now at night there will be land breeze. The air will go from land to sea. Understood? So the breeze direction changes. So this is what is the first phenomenon. Second. So you can read the last four or five lines. Read the last four or five. The cold. The cold air goes from the land towards the sea during the night. That is land breeze. And during the day, cold air goes from the sea towards the land. That is sea breeze. These breezes make the climate in the seashore country. Understood? So just the last four or five lines are important to understand the first one. Yes, second one. Hot water bottles are used for fermentation. Okay, so what is fermentation? You know what is fermentation? Sikai weapon or sikai? Hot water to basically get the warmth. Have you seen hot water oh. bottles? Like patients are those who have like body pain. So like that there is a hot water bottle. Okay. Have you seen this? Hot water bag. So this is how they are fermenting, right? Yes, you must have seen it in hospitals. Have you seen it? Yeah. So fill it with uh, water, and water has very high specific heat. So it takes a lot of heat to raise its temperature. It also takes a lot of heat to, I mean, it releases a lot of heat before it cools off. Hmm? So for hot water to cool down, it, you have to keep it for a long time. Okay, so both ways. Understood. So because of high specific heat of water, once the hot water is filled in it, it stays warm for quite some time. So you can keep on like other ghante or a ghante is to use Got it? So read, there are only four lines in this. 
The reason is that water does not cool quickly. It has high specific heat capacity. So hot water bottle provides more heat energy for fermentation over a long period. Long time period. Okay. Long time period. Okay. Okay. Next, water is used as efficient cooling. Effect effective cooling. Kyaoi. Kyo asadu. So, uh, so in in uh, radiator, have you heard of radiator? Radiator, vehicle radiator, in which you add coolant, right? So in old days, people used to add water only as a coolant. Why? So Because it has very uh, so the yes. When it is too hot and when it is used frequently. Right. So the water absorbs so much of heat. Okay. So engine, the hot components of the engine will be cooled. Because water is absorbing all the heat from it, okay. But now we have uh, chemical coolants available, which can take even more heat, okay. So the green color coolant has anybody noticed? Okay, no worries. So the only reason it acts as a better coolant is because it can take in so much of heat without raising its temperature little bit, okay. And when the hot water is hot. It has sucked the heat from the engine. Then there is a blower which is blowing. Then that water is, when the fan blows it, that heat is radiated out of the vehicle. Okay, it takes the heat from the engine and throws it out with the help of a fan. So there is a fan also, so which cools the water. Then that cooled, so it's a closed circuit. The water sucks the heat, becomes hot. Then it is cooled. Then it is again given to engine. So it's like that. Got it? So it is useful as an effective coolant. Fourth, in cold countries, water is used as heat reservoir for wine and juice bottles to avoid their freezing. Right. So when the temperature is going down, right? So water will require lot of cooling before it actually freezes. Understand? It requires lot of freezing before it actually freezes. And if you have filled water above it, then even if water freezes, it will freeze at the top. So the things kept below will not freeze because its temperature will never go less than four degrees Celsius. Got it? So that is why. So that otherwise, if you keep the wine wine bottles or other substances just like that, it may freeze. Okay. So to make them not freeze, they are dipped inside water. water. So read it. The reason is that water, due to its high specific heat capacity, can impart a large amount of heat before reaching to its freezing point. Hence, bottles kept in water remain warm and they do not freeze even when there is considerable fall in the surrounding temperature. Got it. Okay. Fifth. Farmers fill their fields with water to protect the crops from frost. So this we have already discussed, right? Have we discussed? No, I have discussed in ninth standard. So uh, again, so in in during winter season, what happens? There are saps, plant saps that go up. So that is liquid, and you know when liquid freezes, its volume increases, right? So through the cap and the capillary is. contracting but the liquid inside is expanding due to anomalous behavior of water water inside the sap so it will basically break the stem or rupture the stem and the crop will be destroyed so to avoid that water is filled so that the roots are under the water so in the cold weather just to save the crop you just fill the fields with water so that the roots will not burst Okay, so if the roots are intact, then plant will again nourish, and that cold thing remains not more than like two three days. Okay, it it, it is occasion, right? So read it. On a cold winter night, if the atmospheric temperature falls below zero degrees Celsius, water in the fine capillaries of plant will freeze. So the veins will burst due to increase in volume of water freezing. Mm -hmm. 
As a result, plant will die and the crop will get destroyed. In order to save crop on such cold nights, farmers fill their fields with water because water has a high specific heat capacity. So it does not allow the temperature in the surrounding area of plants to fall up to zero degrees Celsius. Right. Because if the water is filled only, maybe top layer will become icy. But deep down near the roots, it will still be water. Okay. Got it. Alright. So it will not allow the sap to freeze. Inside the plant. Last. All plants and animals have a high, high content of water in their bodies. Yeah. All plants and animals have nearly 80 to 90 percent of uh, water in their bodies. This water, because of its high specific heat capacity, helps, the, um, helps to maintain nearly the same temperature of their body in all things. Right. So, for a normal, healthy human being, our temperature does not change, although the temperature in the surrounding changes. Because the high water content, temperature does not rise or fall too much. So it maintains the body temperature. Okay? That's how it is. Understood? Because if you are like put in a frozen chamber, so much of ice spilled around us, then obviously we will lose all the heat. Then statue. Okay. All right. Last some examples of high and low heat capacity. Chal, ye bhi padh lo. This is a eight mark ke question you may get. So read these videos. Base of the cooking pan is made thick. Why? <coughs> so thick cooking pan mass will be more. So it will have higher heat capacity. So it will take a lot of heat for its temperature to rise. Okay? So the cooking will be like steady. Right? Because suddenly if the temperature rises, it will like burn the food content. So for like gradual heating up, right? So that's why the bases are made thick. And not only that, if the base is thick, once the cooking is over, you can leave the food, close the lid, it will remain warm for a Longer period, right? Because it has high heat capacity, right? So before a lot of heat is released, unless a lot of heat is released, its temperature will not go down. Side. Next is the base of electric iron is also made thick and heavy. Do we see those thick and heavy iron these days? In our childhood, we used to see. Today, you can see such irons at professional. Uh, what do you call washermen's or laundry men's, right? But at home we have a very sleek iron. So the base is pretty thin, but it becomes very hot. So these are steam irons which are, but still its plate is little thicker, isn't it? Two at least two, three, four mm it will be there. Okay. So this is also by doing so the heat capacity of the base is increased. Okay, so when the heat capacity is more. It will have more and more heat energy and temperature will rise gradually, not suddenly. Okay. So, so therefore, once it is hot, now you see the it automatically shuts off. Once it reaches the adequate temperature, it shuts uh, shuts off, right? And then it remains hot for a longer time. So it will save electricity also. Understood? So that way. Is it making sense? So it remains hot for a longer duration even after the current is switched off. What is the third point? The vessel used for measurement of heat, that is calorie meter, is made up of a thin sheet of copper. Now here, the specific heat of copper is less. Right? And what will happen because of that? Breaks. Fast. Huh? fast heating. Yeah, so it is fast heating and it will only take very little. And by making this its mass and hence its heat curve will become low. So it takes a negligible amount of heat from its contents. So therefore, we can uh, just figure out how much heat was absorbed by the mixture inside the vessel rather than how much heat was absorbed by the copper vessel itself. Like I said, the second term is negligible. 
because of low specific area. Okay, but in very precise calculation, you may be asked to also find out how much heat was absorbed by copper vessel itself, and you can figure out that it will be very small. Okay, why is it small? Because of since it is thin, so its mass is also small, and it also has a low specific heat. So C and M are small. Then uh, its contribution will be very small. <coughs> okay. So, any questions till here? No. Now I will go to the second unit, change of phase, and we'll do numericals together later on. Okay. So, what is change of phase? So, phase is state of matter, right? What are the three phases you are aware of? So the topic is change of phase. This is now unit B. So suppose you have a solid, right? So when you heat solid, what will happen? It will melt. Uh, so when you heat it, it will convert into liquid. Okay. So and again you heat it further, then what will happen? Uh, it will evaporate. So it will become gas. Okay. So how many phase changes it has gone? Two changes, solid to liquid, liquid to gas. Okay. Now, if you do the, achha, there is possibility that solid directly sublimates into gas. That is what sublimate. It is also possible. So, if first it transits or changes phase to liquid and then it changes phase to gas, then it is gradual. But here it can sublimate also. Okay, solid to directly gas, like cam camphor, right? What is it called? Cam camphor, right? Okay. And then the reverse is also, also possible. If you cool a gas, when you cool it, when you cool a gas, then it will condense into liquid. When you further cool a liquid, okay, uh, it will freeze into solid. What is making you laugh? So much. God, she's joking. Solidification. Solidification is, is opposite of sublimation. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, is the process understood? So the phase change. Solid changes to liquid, liquid changes to yeah, gas. gas, and vice versa. Okay. So the thing is, what happens during the phase change? Right? So during the phase change, the phase change, now this is a very peculiar phenomenon. The heat absorbed. by the substance okay, does not raise its temperature. This is what happens. Understood? So suppose you have a ice. Let's say it goes at Minus 5 degree Celsius or 0 degree. Okay. So if I draw the phase diagram, so what is happening? Let's say you have this is time axis and this is temperature axis. So this is temperature. Right? So let us say you have minus 5 degree Celsius. Okay. 
minus 10, this is 0, this is 5, 10, 15. So I am showing a discontinuity here. Let's say it is 100. 100 degrees. Okay. So imagine you had eyes which was initially at 5 degrees Celsius. Now we are reading it. So what will happen when we heat eyes, right? So let's say this is 5 seconds, 10 seconds, then uh, some discontinuity, right? Let's say this is 5 minutes now. Okay, so what is happening? So what is happening is, initially when we start heating the ice, what will happen? It remains ice only till 0 degree Celsius. Correct? Ice will remain ice only till 0 degree Celsius. So, so from 10 to 5, the temperature will rise. Okay? Now, ice at 0 degree. Now, when we further, so we have given some Q1 amount of heat. So, whenever we pass heat, its temperature will rise. Now, what is happening? Let's say in next 5 seconds it melts. So it will melt. So here it was ice. Here the phase change is taking place. So it took let us say Q2 amount of heat during phase change. So phase is changing. So ice to water. What is happening? Ice to water now. Okay, let's say it took 10 seconds for that ice to water from here to here. Is its temperature changing? So the phase change process is completed in next 10 seconds. First 5 seconds it took to come at 0 degree Celsius, but now its phase has changed. Has its temperature changed? So from solid ice, now it is completed into liquid, but liquid now at 0 degree Celsius. Okay, so during phase change, there is no change of temperature. So where did the absorbed energy go? Because in generally, you, will, you would observe that if there is water, you have kept a thermometer in it. You start heating, the thermometer level will rise. But during phase change, suppose you have ice cube, you put a thermometer, it is showing 0 degree. If it melts, then also till it is completely melted, it shows 0. So, where did the heat go if it is not showing up as temperature? So, it goes into breaking the bonds. So, from so strong solid bonds, that energy is utilized in breaking the bonds. Now, there the constituents are more spread out. Okay? So, the energy goes in breaking the bonds. Now, ice is completely converted into water. So, after 15 seconds, let us say it takes 5 minutes to, for it to boil. Then, after that, its temperature begins to rise. So, now, from here to here, you are now giving Q3. During this, the temperature has risen from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. So now, till here it was liquid only. Again, it converts into steam. Beyond 100, what will happen? A new phase change begins. Right? So it will now change from water to water vapor. Okay? So now, while the water is converted into water vapor, it will go on absorbing energy. Right? It will go on absorbing energy. 
then when the entire water is converted into water vapor now everything is gas so let us say now this water vapor where is it happening let's say it is inside pressure cooker okay and you are still heating it so it is steam and you are still heating so that then the temperature of the vapor will also rise got it so vapor has maximum energy that's why if you get a burn by a vapor that is more dangerous than just a warm water because it has so much of energy hmm so this is what it is so once the water absorbed uh, like converted completely into steam it had maximum energy absorbed already and now if you further heat it that steam also will have even more energy so the gaseous state is most energetic state is it understood because now molecules are away and they are having big kinetic motion right and temperature is dependent temperature depends only on kinetic energy of the molecule like heat energy is the measure of kinetic and potential but if the kinetic energy so why temperature decides the heat flow because even if it is small body temperature depends only on of the kinetic energy of a average kinetic energy of a individual molecule so if that is at higher temperature because its molecule is shaking at a very high kinetic energy that's how the heat flows from that to the body which is at lower temperature got it so temperature only depends on kinetic energy because we wrote for heat heat depends on both kinetic and uh, potential some to develop it but temperature only depends on kinetic energy. okay so is the phase diagram understood so how many phase changes you see here where three baba <laughs> solid to shuru mein tha already liquid and gas so the horizontal line is where the phase change is going on where there is no change in temperature so here this heat is causing change in temperature so heat absorbed here q1 will have a formula of this type c m delta t type whatever is the heat absorbed it is changing the temperature but here this heat is not changing the temperature so therefore it is called latent heat of fusion what is it called latent because why latent it is not showing up as rising temperature so this is q2 is called latent heat of fusion because it of fusion right again q3 is similar to q1 because it is only changing the temperature but here Q4 again. This is Q4. This heat is called latent heat of vaporization. Now the phase change is from liquid to vapor. So Q4 we are calling as latent heat. Why latent? Because there is no reflection in terms of change in temperature. Latent heat of vaporization. so how do we define latent heat latent heat is defined as latent heat is defined as just heat absorbed per unit mass there is no change in no change in temperature latent heat is is just heat by temperature you are okay so so whatever is like whether it is f or q v by m whatever right so it will not have a delta t component is that clear Okay. So, so how much will be Q fusion? So 
this will be latent heat into now this is a constant for a given substance latent heat l it is denoted as l latent heat is denoted as l so uh, l f for fusion it will be l f like venting so this will be l f into m and what will be q b minus q b will be latent heat of vaporization into whatever was the mass that there is no delta t so this is the difference see this is not a latent heat this is a obvious thing because now there is a change of temperature here But do we have change of temperature no that's why it is called latent heat so we have two types of latent heat clear right so what is the general formula for latent heat l is equal to q i r very easy either for vaporization or for or for fusion so when you go from here to here you call it fusion melting or fusion so melting melting or fusion okay solid to liquid so when you and here it is called vaporization so from liquid to gas is what is the process vaporization yeah we have got it now why are we looking puzzled and gas to liquid is called condensation right this we already know freezing or freezing okay so today we have learned lot of things i hope you have understood lot of things ha huh? you yeah. have all right all right how much time we have now 15 minutes hmm. So in 15 minutes, I will directly go to 11.26 because all the concepts that I have covered, you should be able to understand everything. Okay, just take a look. Take five minutes to look through what is given in the book in this unit. See if you have any doubt. So we will only discuss the last part if you are comfortable with what we have discussed. So L is like your C. It is constant for substances. So during phase change, you will be provided with latent heat of freezing, fusion. It is same. Whatever is the latent heat of fusion, same will be latent heat of freezing. Just you have to like see what process is going. Because whatever heat is released. Okay, uh, here the same will be absorbed. Okay, so the heat involved is same. Just you have to see the direction. What is the process? Whether it is melting or fusion or is it freezing? Got it? So what is the constant? L F here, and here it is L B. So this is given. So you have a table. Give me a popular. Okay. So mercury will melt. Mercury is not a solid, anyways. Which we, okay, so so assume that from solid it becomes like paste. From paste it becomes very thin liquid. Okay. Sulfur, silver. So for that, latent heat of fusion is given to you. So whatever is latent or heat of fusion. it will also be the other thing right what if it was if it was solid earlier then it will become after melting if it was liquid so after freezing it will become solid that way theek hai spend some time yourself and see if you are comfortable then it out ask a question
this question? Um, yes. So what should happen? Salt is a impurity. So the boiling point should reduce, right? Or increase. What happens? Have you seen impurity? We have not covered it yet. When you add impurity, it should increase, I think. Okay, so the melting point of a substance decreases. So there is a topic called effect of impurities on the melting point. See, so melting point of a substance decreases by presence of impurities in it. So what happens to the boiling then? Effect of pressure on boiling point, effect of... Okay, it increases. Uh, here it is given, right? What's going on? Uh, Book mein chapa hai. Is that what you are claiming? Boiling point Boiling point of liquid increases by addition of impurities. So it should be melting point. Melting point decreases, boiling point decreases. Depends on the substance. Not, not always. <coughs> the boiling point of melting point. So, effect of impurities on melting point. Melting point of a substance decreases. Ah, it says melting point decreases by the presence of impurities in it. Wo bhi increase. Dono, uh, melting point decreases and boiling point increases. So I think this is problem is happening because of anomalous behavior and it is different for different substances. So, what you have given to you, just remember it. Okay? This is a logic I can explain. But uh, if you read it two, three times, the logic fits in for this substance. Okay? For this substance. Or maybe a chemistry teacher has a better argument for this. Right? So generally, whenever you add impurity, right, things decrease. Okay? But here it is decreasing for melting. But for boiling, it says it is increasing. Why is so? Because melting is a phenomenon at a lower temperature and boiling is a phenomenon at higher temperature. Could be because of that. Okay? So, maybe. So, just remember it. Any other question? How come you landed at that question? Because that was not even taught by me. I thought we'll do it in the next class. Hmm? Eagle eye. She has an eagle eye. Okay. What else? Ask from what we did today. What did we do today? So there are uh, effects. Uh, we did only fusion curve, right? And changes in volume on melting, you know. What happens to the... So if it is, there are certain substances which on melting decrease. Water is one of them. What happens to the volume of substances when they melt? When ice melts, its volume increases. Decreases. 
एनॉमलस बिहेवियर राइट ये थोड़ा सा है ट्रिकी है थोड़ा सा एनॉमलस बिहेवियर डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर इज मैक्सिमम एट फोर डिग्री क्या था वो वाला कब याद करो सो डेंसिटी है ना सो ऑन बोथ साइड द डेंसिटी रिड्यूसेस दैट मीन्स वॉल्यूम इंक्रीजेस है ना सो सो वेन यू गो फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर देन द डेंसिटी इज राइजिंग दैट मीन्स वॉल्यूम इज डिक्रीजिंग वेन यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर तो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट इज वाई ऑलवेज कंफ्यूज Hmm? So you remember the graph, and remember that water density is maximum at four. So when you cross four, then the density decreases, and therefore the volume is rise after four. So this is at low to. This is freezing or boiling. Me, for a this one. Okay, this is the. अब एनॉमलस बिहेवियर तो नेचर ने बनाया सो वी कॉन्ट डू एनीथिंग ऑन दैट व्हिच क्वेश्चन 26 रीड इट फॉर मी व्हिच व्हिच यूनिट ए और बी बी व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन 23 द क्वेश्चन इट इज जनरली कॉल्ड आफ्टर अ हिल स्टॉम देन ड्यूरिंग एंड बिफोर द हिल स्टॉम गुड क्वेश्चन and we have not discussed this see these girls huh why are you it wasn't hmm. is i haven't discussed it ah, it's an interesting question so during the hail storm hail storm is icy wind right ah. so what is happening it has a very high specific heat so all the heat present in the atmosphere is absorbed by the ice okay so suddenly the temperature atmospheric temperature will dip too much absorption is happening and when the ice melts then suddenly a lot of heat will be released so even in the snow season you will see people are not wearing sweater when the ice is melting so it doesn't feel hot there okay but that melting process is very slow but during that process lot of heat is released in there and why are you <laughs> come on <laughs> and he is having fun right he is in the sentence who ha to theek hai kya hai let's let's have fun uh, the song is called golden and gold wire which wire ice is a very essential the the golden bottles are soft ha theek hai kya Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yes. Yes. Because ice takes lot of time to melt. Okay. Ice is taking lot of time to melt, but it is absorbing the heat. It has a high specific heat. Ice has a high specific heat. Just little bit less than water. Almost near that. okay so it will extract heat from the soft drink bottle therefore the soft drink bottle will be cooled so the second part ice to water hmm. so what does it mean ice water kya hai second part what is where is the question soft drink bottles are cooled by ice water in the water Ice water means the ice which is melted into water. ये वाला water, ये पूरा melt हो गया। यहाँ पे जो water मिले। Wait, uh, which will cool the drink quickly? so it should be okay the question was which will cool the drink quickly the ice cubes because it has already converted into ice water after absorbing so much of it so when there are ice cubes the water will be cooled quickly understood 
because it has very high latent heat heat of fusion right one second देखो ड्रिंक्स गेट कूल्ड मोर क्विकली बाय एडिंग पीसेस ऑफ आइस लुक हियर ये थर्ड पार्ट है ये कॉन्सिक्वेंस हमने किया नहीं वहां से पूछा सारे कॉन्सिक्वेंस में से आंसर मिले हां नो एब्सॉर्ब भाई हेल स्टॉम में क्या होता है हेल स्टॉम में इट्स आईसी नो रीड रीड द लास्ट पॉइंट इलेवन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव आईज एब्सॉर्ब लॉट ऑफ हीट एनर्जी लास्ट पॉइंट लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ यूनिट बी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव हेल स्टॉम is completely lost <laughs> not even able to comprehend what i'm saying see read the last point na 11.26 all the regions are given baba not on my face in your book go to the last point just before you go go last yeah the, the fifth one it is generally more cold yes now she reaches read Last point is. Yes, reached already. Yes, reached. Next page. <laughs> so much struggle to reach. Uh, okay. Understood. Why ice cubes? So the answer to your question was, it is the ice cube because it has high latent heat of fusion, so it will absorb so much of heat. Whereas ice cooled water is already absorbed the heat. Now it has no more capacity to absorb the heat. Okay, because now its temperature will begin to rise. So it will cool away. Got it. Got it. Now why uh, the atmosphere becomes suddenly cold after hail storm? Because hail storm में ice आता है. वो ice क्या करेगा? Atmosphere की तो absorb करते हैं. Yes, that's what it is. Now the thing is, you ask question only. Sure. Not out of syllabus. Not discussed yet. Okay. All right. So, मजा आया ना? Natural. You get many questions, but one or very short. The big thing is the numericals that we are going to do in the next class. So don't miss next class because we haven't done numericals for unit A as well as for unit B. Okay. So I kept the numericals together so that you understand the difference.